Halloween tutorial as you guys can tell and this turned out way better at least to me it turned out way better than I expected I have been playing with the makeup and I two hours later I finally came up with this look I even got the armband going I got the bling bling and oh my god you guys this is super easy and like I said it came out so much better than I thought and I have lashes on you guys I actually put on lashes for the first time for those that might not know, I cannot wing my liner and I cannot do lashes, but today I am super excited because I know everybody already has all their Halloween tutorials up and I'm like the Halloween queen. My house is always a haunted house. I love it. And I'm like, okay, I got back from New York. I'm like, I have to crank out a tutorial for you guys. If you guys watched my Halloween haul, you guys know that I talked about being some sort of a Greek goddess and a geisha and I actually ordered something online that should be here next week for another one. So I'm hoping on three tutorials for you guys. But this here is so simple, it's sexy, it's glowy, it's goddessy and I hope that the camera is really picking up on all these beautiful colors on my face. I have a lot of bronze going, I have like so much highlighter going, I have glitter all over my chest, I don't know if you guys can see it. So let me tell you a little bit about it. I made this crown, I went and got like a regular headband from the dollar store, so if you guys can see I'll take it off really quickly to show you guys, but this is just a regular headband and then I bought these little leaves at Michael's, this was all attached and I bought that at Michael's and I just pulled them apart, just taped them and then I ended up wrapping these beads around it and then I have these gold earrings and this is actually a bracelet that I just like wrapped around my arm. And yeah, so the props are very, very easy and you guys can go get one of those togas I believe they're called or make like a white dress if you guys are trying to be sexy. Anything that's super easy and oh my god, I am so loving this. Like I, I bet if I try to create this again, it wouldn't happen. But I do have like gold and bronze and oh, I'm just so excited. Like I seriously want to go out wearing this outfit right now. So if you guys want to see how I created this super easy sexy goddess, then just keep watching. I've already primed my eyes with the e.l.f. eye primer and here I'm just taking this fluffy brush along with my Naked 2 palette and from inside I'm taking the color Chopper which is a like rusty copper color and I'm not going to be careful while blending this in but I'm putting it into the crease and I'm just going to blend it just throughout the whole crease and over the crease because I do want to build that rusty color copper look because we're going to be putting gold over it so it doesn't have to be neat all this is just going to be a lot of shimmer a lot of gold as you guys can see right there next i'm going to be taking the l'oreal hip high intensity pigments in the color visionary which is a very bright gold and i'm just going to pat this all over my eyelid and of course you guys can wet it at first i went ahead and i just patted it you know all over the lid and then what i did is i went through and i sprayed a little bit of my facial spray or your mac fix plus and this will intensify the pigment to make it more vibrant so that's what i did Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Lumi along with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color 250 for Revlon. And for the L'Oreal, I am W6 Sun Beige. This is going to give me full coverage. And as you guys can see, the Lumi has that whole dewy, glowy look. And I want full coverage with a lot of dewiness because that's what this look is based on. And I'm just going to blend this all in. I did match my neck, face, and chest with other stuff that I will be listing down below. Next, I'm taking my Soleil Tan de Chanel, and this is a bronzer that I've had for like almost two years, and I've never used it, so I put it to good use today. I'm just patting this where my concealer would normally go. I did not conceal my eyes today, and I'm just going to pat this from underneath my eye to like the outer corner going towards my hairline, as you guys can see, and just use like a little patting motion. This is going to give you more glow, as you guys can tell there. Next, I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Shimmer Palette, which is a highlighter. It's in the color Rose Golden Goddess. I'm not contouring, but I'm using this as my contour and blush, and I'm applying this all over my cheekbone. As you guys can see, I'm making them pop out by making that little fishy face there. I want it to be very, very pigmented. I want it to be blinged out, and it's such a perfect color for this look. And of course, we have to make sure our cheekbones are intense. Next, I'm just going to be taking my stipple brush and I'm just going to blend it all out so that the lines don't look harsh because remember, you always have to make sure that everything is blended out so that it all just transitions into the next thing. Next, I'm taking this Heart Candy Tiki 
bronzer and I'm not going to just put it above on my cheekbone like I normally do I'm actually going to start from the cheekbone and I'm going to blend it in over the blush that I just applied so it, now I'm going to have that whole copper look with a little bit of bronze into it and I'm just going to blend that in I'm also applying it on the bridge of my nose and I'm going to intensify my cupid's bow by applying a lot normally I just fan a little bit over it but you guys will see here that I went hardcore on the whole lip thing because I wanted to make it pop and of course we're going to go through and take our stipple brush and make sure that everything blends together I'm going to throw on some brows. Next, I'm taking this Physician Formula, and you guys know I love this stuff here. I'm taking that first shade there, and I'm going to apply this all over my brow bone, and you guys will see that the second I slather it on there, it's very intense. Of course, I'm going to blend it out, but I'm not being shy about my highlighters today, my glitter, nothing. I want this look to be shimmery, glowy, dewy, and blinged out as you guys can see. So I'm just going to blend this all over the brow bone area there. Next, out of nowhere, I got the crazy idea to take those two top colors and I'm just going to be going from like the middle part of my eye there and I'm hooking it like a little jade or a little hook. I just decided to somehow grab that and it looked good at the end. So I don't know how this came about, but I actually loved how this came out. And that's a little dual fiber brush and I just went back and forth as you guys can see. Gave me that extra little shimmer effect there. I hope that you guys don't think that was a little too crazy. Next, I'm going to apply some Ardell, I believe these were, Demi 102 lashes, and wish me good luck. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes, but I finally got some lashes on. And so those of you guys that know I can apply lashes should be very proud of me because I finally managed to put some false lashes on. And here is my happy dance because I did it. Yay for me. And um, next, I'm taking more of that pigment by L'Oreal, and I'm putting that in the inner corner. And I'm also putting very little, of, like right underneath in the lash area, but I'm going to intensify more towards my inner part of my eye there, as you guys can see. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. And then, of course, I'm going to wait for the top lashes to dry. And while that happens, I already went ahead and I did one of my eyes. And I just, to cover the glue, actually, I just took this jumbo eyeliner. I believe it came in one of my Ipsy bags. It's called um, BA Bombshell. Just a black liner. And then I want my waterline to be super intense. So I took the gel by Essence. And I just put that all over the bottom. And of course I did my inner upper waterline. I don't think that's what it's called. But next I took my new MAC Pro palette. Concealer palette, I'm sorry. And I muted out the, any color of my lips. Because I'm going to be going with a very nude sparkly color for the lips. So I wanted to make sure I had no red or anything like that. Then I took this Beauty Rush what is it a lip gloss and um, I'm not sure of the color but I will list down below patted it all over my lips and I wanted more gold in it so what I did is I took that NYX pearl mania like little loose powder and I applied it over the lips and I don't think the camera picked it up good here but I went ahead and I just patted it and it gave me like a pearl golden look then here I just took a NYX nude liner and I just lined the top of my lips just to kind of give them a more definition because I do have little lips. Now some accessories and hair and here is the finishing look. <laughs> 